Let's now discuss the guideline 6.6 .6 on images under the guideline for Indian government websites. Images are often used on the website to add value to a web page. But we also need to ensure that the images are not so heavy so that the download time increases of the page. We need to also ensure that the image actually adds value to the page and is just not there for a decoration purpose. Often we notice that on websites, an image is used as a heading rather than providing it as a, head, as a heading. We need to ensure that headings are actually marked as headings and images are not misused so as to portray the information to an end user. While using images because of the size of an image and the download time, we need to ensure that we try and reuse as many of the images as we can by placing them in a, in a folder which can then be reused. While working with images, it's important to decide what type of image format would we use. Would we use a GIF, a JPEG, or a PNG? For example, if it is an icon, we might need to use a GIF image, but if it is a photograph, we might have to use a JPEG image. It's also important to ensure that the size of the file is reduced so as to reduce the download time. And also the accuracy of the image should be maintained by ensuring that it is not distorted. We can avoid distortion by actually not scaling the image but taking a photograph of an image or creating an image of the right size whereby this image can then be clear for the end user. Last but not the least, we also need to ensure that images are provided alternate description so that visually impaired people can also access the image using a screen reader. How do we do this? There are two types of images on a website, decorative and informative. If it is a decorative image, we need to provide something called an empty alt so that the screen reader ignores this image. But if it is an informative image, then we need to ensure that the description provided is accurate, succinct, and grammatically correct so that a person with visual impairment gets the same information like you and I do. These are just some of the few things that we need to ensure while working with images on the website.